Objective accomplished. Briefing commences. Information discovered at the previous mission site indicates a pre-collapse research center at this location. Investigate it and recover any artifacts. We have reason to believe that the scavengers operating in this zone are more technologically advanced than those previously encountered. You are advised to scout their positions before committing to an attack. Reinforcements are available for this mission. Mission timer activated. Group 1 reporting. Roger, Christine. It's technically true that the scavengers are more technically advanced than before, but so are we, and our advancement is going to trump theirs. We have 30 minutes for this stage, but we won't need all of it in the away portion. So first, let's recycle our twin MG designs for the new heavy MG. Production completed. Production completed. Production completed. While the twin MG will certainly work, these new versions will completely curb stomp the opposition. Production completed. Production completed. Production completed. This will be, for a long while, the last stage of the game that can be considered simple and easy. Production completed. Production completed. After your eight heavy MGs are ready, put them and the truck and repair tank from last stage into the football and lift off. We're going to want our attack team to clear the area around the LZ immediately, but they will have absolutely no problem in doing so. Group 1 reporting. Reinforcements are available. Unit under attack. Group 1 reporting. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Group 1 reporting. Group 1 reporting. Construction completed. Unit under attack. These two weapons are the mini pod rockets. They are the first of the weapon group known as anti tank, which get damage bonuses against any ground vehicle, and the anti tank tree is the best cost value way to deal with anything that isn't infantry or a structure. However, while the scavengers may be able to build them, they apparently haven't upgraded them, and doing percent-based bonus damage isn't too helpful when your base damage is pitiful. Unit under attack. 
Gather brigade detected. Unit under attack. Scavenger base eradicated. As with the previous stage, we could swing around west to get around the target's backside. However, in this stage, we have such an advantage in power with our new MG tanks that it's better for us to actually charge the scavengers right in their face. After having removed the factory, all we'll do with the west side will be to drop a couple towers to prevent a flanking sweep. Construction completed. Group 1 reporting. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. One reporting. Group one reporting. Construction completed. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Incoming transmission. Scavenger base detected. Commander, recover any artifacts held by the scavengers at this location. The final scavenger base can be accessed by this ramp here. However, due to the combination of a massive bottleneck and the fact that if one of our tanks does need to auto-retreat, it would choose to do so this way, we'll decline this option. We will start research on this sweet artifact though, as there are several steps to it, and we're going to want to finish before the stage is over. Reporting. And now for a demonstration on just how superior our designs are to the scavenger forces. For maximum effect, play your favorite action music in the background. Ride of the Valkyries is a good choice. Construction completed. Something as simple as the bugle rendition of the U.S. Cavalry Charge on a loop works too. Even Yakety Sax if you prefer. Personally, I'll stay away from adding music to these videos. I don't want my first ever YouTube series hit with a copyright claim. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Structure under attack. We are so far above the scavengers that when playing this stage, I didn't even notice that as soon as I started attacking this base, a scavenger force came around the backside where we had set up our guard towers, trying to push all the way through them to get behind us. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Artifact detected. Unit under attack. Artifact recovered. Return to LZ. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Scavenger base eradicated.
Structure under attack. Return to LZ. We have over 20 minutes left in this stage and no objectives remaining. Time for the logistics portion of the video. Structure under attack. Return to LZ. Major research completed. Return to LZ. Return to LZ. Major research completed. With the half-tracked propulsion and mortar weapon finished, it's time to add them to our designs. Switching the MG tank to use half-tracks will cost it about one-seventh of its top speed and add seven power to its design cost, but add yet another 65 hit points to it. Also, we are going to want to design a brand new tank based on the mortar weapon. While it's far more costly and less survivable than the heavy MG design, it's not here to get shot at. This is a range of 18, roughly two and a half times that of the heavy MG. This is our first artillery piece, and its job is going to be to sit well out of range of the enemy forces and shell them with impunity. Artillery, in general, specialize in taking out infantry and soft structures, but they also have reasonable modifiers against any structure that isn't bunker type. Return to LZ. And really, regardless of modifiers, being able to shoot a target that isn't firing back is a major advantage. Also, they have splash damage. The splash range isn't very big, but then again it's better than nothing, and this is, after all, only the earliest of artillery. Return to LZ. For the first time all game, let's dip into our large cast reserve and make a 10-pack mortar squad. You can still give build orders to your factories while at away missions. When you return to the main base, the finished units will be sitting at the factory delivery points. Major research completed. Major research completed. Return to LZ. As much as I'm sure everyone is enjoying listening to Christine begging us to get back home at 30 second intervals, we have research to finish, so let me cut to when I get that out of the way. Research completed. Vehicle research completed. Weapon research completed. Weapon research completed. Weapon research completed. Return to LZ. Return to LZ. And now, it's time to leave. I recommend letting your 10-pack of mortars finish building first, but that isn't technically necessary. The next stage is going to be our first real kick in the pants, so if you are following this guide in your own campaign, this would be a good time to take a little break. Return to LZ. So that you'll be ready to look alive in Alpha 5. Objective accomplished.